Okay, so what I was gonna do originally was pull in a sedan and show you how to pull shrink on a back window, but I don't have a sedan here. All I have are SUVs, so instead I pulled in my Explorer to do it on the windshield, but then I realized this isn't a very curved windshield, so it's really hard to illustrate pull shrinking when there's not a whole heck of a lot of shrinking to even do on this. So I pulled in my Explorer still, and I'm gonna show you how to cut out a door window instead. So this is typically how vehicles look when they're pulled in. They're kind of dirty, water on the window because it's been raining today. So I'm just gonna show you how I hand cut on an everyday basis. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually take my sprayer, spray down the window, and then just squeegee it off. This is so I have a nice clean surface to work with. Because obviously you don't want, you know, any sort of sand or grit in there. It's gonna scratch the film. So you need a nice clean surface in order to do that. Next, we're gonna spray it back down again, and then we're gonna take the roll of film, and there's two sides to this. You have a tint side and a liner side. The liner side is meant to take a little bit of abuse, where the tint side, you want to keep that as perfect as possible. Gonna unroll some of this. First, you have to make sure which side is which. I already know which side it is, so I'm gonna put it liner side this way and then just keep my bottom edge right against the seal as close as I can. It's gonna wiggle around a little bit. So then I wanna take my knife, make sure I'm all the way covered on that side so I have a little overlap. And then over here, I'm just gonna make sure I get about an inch over and then cut straight down, cut right up. That way you have your piece of film on the window. Spray the film just to give it a little slip. And now we're gonna line up the bottom of the film with the bottom seal. Make sure we have a little bit of overlap on both sides. And next, I want to get rid of my excess film. Toss that aside. Um, typically I'll do this with a 20 inch roll, but we have a 24 inch roll of practice film. So that's what I'm using on this car right now. I wanna get my mirror kind of out of the way if it can, so you just kind of give it a little bit of push and it'll go to the side. So you can cut either side, front or back. Um, on this, I'm gonna cut the front edge first. So I'm just gonna press here in the top corner and then put just a little bit of blade out and then just ride the seal down. And then when I tear off my film, I'm gonna tear it out. Now I gotta shift the film over about a half inch. Can be about um, a quarter of an inch to a half inch. Honestly, it just depends on the inside of the seals. Um, if they're a little bit looser, you can go a little wider, that's fine. So now that I pulled that over about um, a half inch, I'm going to cut this side. So I'm gonna kinda just lift up the bottom and figure out where the seal is. Um, and then put a little bit of pressure here in the top corner. The same thing on this side, I'm gonna have a little bit of blade out and then just push in and then use that seal as a guide and cut all the way straight down. And then again, tear out. So now we're gonna drag the pattern back over about half the way we moved it that way, so we're only pulling it back this way, about a quarter of an inch. So we have, um, if we moved it over a half inch, we have a quarter inch on both sides. So now we're gonna pull back the film, kind of release it from this bottom seal and just slide the whole pattern just straight down, about a half inch, a half inch to a full inch. And then I'm checking my sides, kind of using them as a guide. So when I pull the film down, I'm watching um, how far down I'm going and then how much overlap is on both sides. Try and keep these sides even and then Make sure the window is wet because I need to tack it to the window this time because now I'm gonna roll the window down a little bit so I can cut out my top edge. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up the film off the bottom to make sure it's not gonna catch on this bottom seal. Then I'm gonna reach in and roll my window down just a couple of inches so I expose that top edge. Now I'm gonna put out just a little bit of blade and find this top corner, push my blade in and then just ride the blade along this top edge 
and cut out the top. Tear away. And all that's left is to round off my corners. One thing you're gonna wanna make sure that you do is snap off a blade. So when you go to round off your edges, you um, have already kind of dulled your blade when you cut on the side. So you don't want to actually scratch the glass when you round off these corners. So make sure you just take the end of your knife and snap off a blade. Now to do this, you're just gonna kinda follow your edges, kinda just connect the dots basically. I'm just scoring the outside to use it as an illustration. I haven't actually cut it yet. You can do that to kind of give you a guide to see how your cut's gonna turn out. Now I'm just gonna follow these edges and then round it off, pull it away. And then same thing goes for this. Just round your corners off. Okay, so now I have a pattern that's all cut out, ready to shrink. Now the next step I would do from here would be to line it up to shrink the pattern because the glass is curved, your film is flat, and you need to give it a little bit of a bow um, in order to install it on the inside so you don't have any weird stuff popping up. But that is gonna be for another video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share this video with other tinners if you think this would be helpful. Comment, like, and subscribe. And if you've done all that, go watch some more videos, I don't know. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.